Hey, Melissa. How are you? Welcome in. Thanks for coming. I'm so glad you found me. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Daddy. Hi, Eric. How are you doing tonight? Hope everybody's doing good. It's been a rush day for me. I haven't slurred up all day long. Melissa, in just a few minutes, my husband, Jerry, um, he'll be here to help me out. He's just running a couple minutes late, and he'll pop it in the chat. Um, there's just a little one-page form to fill out um, to register. And um, once you feel that, it's just your basic information and um, your PayPal information because I bill through PayPal. So um, you can just fill that out right quick and you'll be good to go. I don't think you've never been on before, right, Melissa? Um, but I sure do appreciate you joining in for sure. Everybody share and, and get the word out. We're trying to grow our channel and um, need all the, all the people we can get. He'll be up here in just a few minutes to give me a hand for the night. So we're just going to chat for a few minutes and let people have a chance to join in. Okay, he'll um he'll put that in there in just a few minutes, and uh, that uh, I don't know if it's in the about section. I don't think so. Um, I don't think I have it in that part, but um, we certainly welcome you to join in and have a good time with us. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully you will enjoy it and get some good deals. And um, I work hard. Uh, every day trying to find great items for everybody and and um, hopefully there'll be some things you might just can't live without <laughs> so welcome in welcome welcome I'm just going to chat for a few minutes and uh, give people a chance it usually takes about 5 or 10 minutes and everybody uh, I start trickling in and and then we'll have we'll have some fun ahead. I know there's some other auctions going on right now. Um, I actually saw quite a few of them popping up that normally aren't on Monday nights, but but that's all right too. We're gonna hang in there and give it our shot and do our thing. <laughs> Share it with your friends, Melissa, if you would. Um, I don't know if you do Facebook or if there's a way you can share it. I appreciate it. Hey, Mama. Hey. How y'all doing? Hey, Pages. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. Twyla. Hey, Twyla. Welcome in. Jerry will be here in just a minute. He is running a couple minutes late, getting down here to help me out. He'll be here in just a few minutes, though. Hope you're having a good day, everybody. What a great Monday, right? <laughs> it's been busy. I haven't slowed up all day. I'm so tired. That's great, Pages. I'm glad you're having a good day. It's been, I'm here in Georgia, as y'all know, and it's been so nice. The weather has been just unbelievable over the last week. It, it's just amazing. I wish it could stay just like this. It's been in the 70s and, oh, just so, so nice. <laughs> I wish it could stay like that. But calling for 80s later this week again, so maybe it won't be too, too hot. I hope not. Hey, Larry, welcome in. How are you doing? <laughs> Nana, hey, 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 hey. 
Thanks for coming in, y'all. I appreciate it. We're just chatting a few minutes, letting everybody join in. Giving it just a few minutes here. How's everybody doing? Y'all let me know how you're doing. If you're not, if you're in here, let me know you're here. Tell me hello. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I can do that. Let me see if I can do it while we're talking here, while we're waiting a few minutes. Um, I was going to take care of that. Um, and I forgot to do it. And I told y'all I would. Can y'all still see me all right? I just want to make sure that y'all can still see me. Um, and I didn't disconnect here. I did have a good birthday. I had a great birthday. Jerry made it so special for me. It was a wonderful birthday. Just another day, though, I don't like to think about them. <laughs> it is no fun, I'm telling you. No fun is right. <laughs> Whenever you get logged in, can you pop it in the chat? We have a new one here. Her name is Melissa. And she's going to register so she can bid with us. Oh, good. Okay, I keep toggling from screen to screen. I'm trying to um, get on here so I can fix fix a couple of things and uh, things I promised y'all I was going to do and I didn't do it. If I can figure out how to do it while I'm, while I'm on... Angie, welcome back. I'm glad you're back. Yay, we just getting going. Chatting for a couple of minutes, letting some people come in. Hi, Deb. Hi, honey. I do have one of the good ones, Twyla. I do. <laughs> He's giggling over there, so. <laughs> Can't let it go to his head. <laughs> he gave me a great birthday he, he had me a nice cake and a card and a beautiful new purse and that's always great <laughs> so it um, it was a great birthday wonderful birthday flowers he gave me flowers and oh it was just great I was trying to, I was trying to um, do this, and I'm having trouble. <laughs> I'm still learning how this YouTube works, <laughs> and um, oh, I think I can do it this way. I know, good ones are hard to find, Twala. I've had him for a while.
Vintage Memories. Hey, welcome in. Hope you're doing okay today. You having a good Monday? Melissa. Um, all right, I think I figured out how to make everybody blue. <laughs> figured it out so we'll see if it works as we start chatting if you switch it over to blue happy purse day <laughs> Yay! that's awesome I do have a lot of purses I need to I need to have a purse auction one day wouldn't that be great I know me too <laughs> Me too. Well, we got 12 in the chat. Uh, we can go ahead and get it started if y'all would like. Twala, say something in the chat. Let me see if you switched over to blue. See if it wrenched you. It worked on Nana and Larry. Well, I thought I did, Larry. Twala did. Twala, we got you wrenched. There we go. Let me get Larry here. Oh, I got you. I got you, Larry. There we go. All right. I'm figuring this stuff out, y'all. <laughs> oh, I know. All right, well, we lose, we've lost a couple of people, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I don't want people dropping off because they're bored watching me try to figure stuff out online, right, y'all? So we'll just go ahead and get it started, and hopefully our, our people will come back. Melissa, I don't know if you're still with us, but Jerry put the link in there on um, to fill out to register. So you just click that and fill it out, and then... Um, it's really, it only takes a minute to do it. And then you will be good to go. So, all right, y'all, let's get her started. Everybody, always make sure you're in live chat, not top chat. And if you would, um, click the like button. We're trying to grow our channel, and we... We need all the exposure we can get. So, everybody, I appreciate it if y'all could share and help us out. So, huh? Well, it turns your name like that when somebody says something to you and puts the at symbol in front of your name. So, Nana must have said something to you, Twala. Um... And when it does that, it like highlights your name so you can see it. And only you can see it when it turns red like that. So, that's what that means. Yep, see how she put at Twyla Martin? When, she puts, when somebody puts at in your name, it'll turn you uh, red in the chat for you to see. Only you. So there we go. Hi, Sharon. Welcome in. All right, y'all. Let's get this party started. And um, if there's something that y'all want to see, let me know. And I'll do my best to see if we have it. And if we don't have it, I'll do my best to have it for the next time. Or soon thereafter. <laughs> I try really hard. So, all right, y'all. Let's get her going here. Um... How about we'll start out? I have a mirror, y'all. Y'all interested in a mirror tonight? This is made by Con Air. And it's a nice mirror. It has um, regular magnification on one side. And then you can get a little closer to them wrinkles and pores on the other side. Ain't that all what we want to see? But we'll just start this at a dollar. Anybody interested in the Con Air mirror? It has um, this handle on it that... 
will, you know, you can adjust it or you can set it on your table or um, hang it and adjust it that way. You can, you know, do it like that. You can, anyway, it's pretty cool. Anybody interested in the mirror for a dollar? Yeah, that just um that just draws attention so you can see somebody is saying something specifically to you in the chat or they've um you know mentioned your name by chance. So that's what that does. So I have this mirror made by Conair. It's a reddish uh, color. Larry's in for a dollar. Anybody want to go too? On the mirror it's pretty cool you can set it set it on your dresser or makeup table whatever the case may be you can hang it on the wall and push it out like that um, pretty cool mirror Larry's in for a dollar um, I don't know what the magnification is I would probably say um, five times magnification on the other side it draws it in pretty close, Sharon. Closer than I want to see. A <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. That's right, Twyla. <laughs> I'd say it's five times magnification. It's not written on here, and I don't have the box for it. So, um, but it's it's in great condition, and I don't know what the magnification is. I would say it's five times magnification on the other side. That's right, Nana. Everybody here is fairest one of them all. Hi, Sharon. Isn't it too? Sharon's... Oh, Sharon just barely beat you, Daddy. Got Sharon in it too. Anybody want to go three? Hey, love. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good Monday. We're just showing this mirror here. We're getting it started. This is our first item of the night. It's made by Conair. And it has regular magnification on one side, and I believe it to be probably five on the other. Um, it's got like a little hinge-like system where you can set it on your table. You can hang it on the wall and adjust it like that in any position there. It's pretty cool. And Sharon's in at three. Sharon just barely beat you again, Daddy. So let's see. Sh Sharon's in at three. So I got Sharon in at three. Larry's in at four. Thank you, Larry. Pretty cool little mirror. Nice size. It's not scratched up or anything like that. The mirror itself is in. Y'all see my my camera? <laughs> you can see it a little closer on that one, right? Pretty cool. I got Larry in at four. Anybody want to go five on the mirror? We'll start counting it down for Larry. Sharon says she is out. Thanks for bidding, Sharon. Daddy's in at five. Daddy likes this one. Larry said he is out. Daddy's in at five. If y'all ain't figured out, Books, then is my daddy. <laughs> and I got Daddy in at five. Anybody want to go six? We'll start counting this down for my daddy. Larry said he's out. Going once to Daddy for $5. Is this foundation makeup? I'd have to look at it. I don't remember. Going twice to Daddy for 5 Yes. Uh, well, it's... it's that is. And then that's like blush. And then this is like eyeshadow. I mean, if you had any foundation makeup. Oh, yeah, put it over here. I got this, too. I had a little thing out. I didn't see that message in the chat. Who was asking that? Mm -hmm. 
I think I said going twice to daddy, so we're going to call this one sold to my daddy for $5, and that gets it going for tonight, y'all. Thank you, daddy. Congratulations. It's a beautiful mirror. You're going to love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This goes to my daddy. Who was asking about foundation? Mm -hmm. I missed it. Yeah. Oh, Nana. Mm -hmm. I do, Nana. I just scrolled up and saw it was Nana that was asking about it. I do have some Nana. Let's see. Nana was asking about some foundation makeup. Um, I got two different things. The The first one, I'll pull this, I'll put this one up. Um, this one is made by Estee Lauder. And it is Perfectionist. The, this is, let me get my glasses, I can't see y'all. Um, this is Ivory Nude is the color on it and this is brand new and we'll start this out at six dollars and it's Estee Lauder I'm gonna open it and take it out so you can see it um, <coughs> this one is the type that has it has a mirror of course and it has the little sponge here for to apply it and then uh, you lift the little lid and it has um, it has the where you dab it here and that's how you um, put it on so it is um, brand new ivory nude is the color and it is made by Estee Lauder, so y'all know it's good stuff. I had ordered it, and the color was just a little bit too dark for me. Y'all can see how pale I am. So, yeah, Bill's been standing there looking like, what are you doing, Mama? <laughs> Everybody's saying they can see Bill. <laughs> it's more of a cream, Nana. It's more of a cream to me. Um, and you apply it with that little sponge. And I got Deb in at six. Thank you, Miss Deb. Deb just barely beat you, love. He is pretty, Sharon, and he is pretty spoiled rotten, is what he pretty is. <laughs> he is spoiled rotten. Got Deb at six, and I love it, six. Nana's in at seven. Thank you, Nana. Bill is a German Shepherd, and he will be 10 years old on his birthday, November 30th. So, he is really excited about his birthday coming up. And he'll get a lot of presents, let's just say. <laughs> he will get a lot of them. He's like a child to us. We love him to pieces. Vintage Memories is in at 8. Thank you much. Shelly. Hi, Shelly. How are you doing? This is only our second item of the night, so you got here on time, girl. Nana's in at 10. Thank you, Nana. <sighs> Does it dry your skin out, um, love? I love this kind because I can do it all in one process and it, it's just faster. <laughs> I don't know. Does that make me lazy? I don't know. Yep. But Jerry says it's making me lazy. But um, I just like it and I love Estee Lauder. And it um, it's always good stuff. And it never, you know, clogs your pores or, um, you know break your face out, anything like that, so, so, yeah, so your daughter has a German Shepherd too, oh my goodness, how old is your daughter's baby, 
I got Nana with the high bid of $10 for Estee Lauder, y'all. Going once to Nana. Jerry says, let's move it on. What kind of foundation do you like, love? Do you like, um, you don't like the powder kind? You like, uh, or you don't like the combination of them? Going twice to Miss Nana for $10. The golden doodle, and now she has a full standard poodle. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she set up a couple chats ago that that she... Oh, you have a golden doodle, Chloe. Oh, my goodness. Vintage Memory says, He's out, and that's all my bidders. We're going to call this one sold to Miss Nana for $10 for Estee Larder. Unbelievable deal, y'all. That is a great deal, Nana. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy that. Yeah, it um it was just just a tweak off for color for me. It just didn't match me too good, but I hope it works wonderful for you. Brand new. Now I have this other um this other that um is made by Bear Essentials, and this isn't just the the foundation. This is like a combination. Um, uh, set that I have. Hold on, y'all. One second here. Um, this one has the um, the the foundation and the um, the blush and some eyeshadow all in one, which is a great combination for all of it. Um, all right, so. Here we go. This is called um, I Love B.E. Grand Collection, and it's fair um, for fair um, complexions. But in here, all this is new. It's never been used, y'all. Um, hold it like this. Y'all can see. Um, and I need to start this out at $15. Um, Y'all can see that there's the brushes in here. There's um, a lip gloss here. There's, um, oh, I can't see it. Y'all, hold on, let me. Um, this is a Skin Revival Night Moisturizer here. Still in the plastic. All this is still brand new, y'all. Um, this is the, um, the foundation. This is, y'all know the Bare Minerals is the powder kind. Um, this is Fair. And it is brand new, y'all. And then the next um, cup in here, it's a blush and it's Love Radiance. You don't want to focus. There it goes. Beautiful color. I love that color. Um, then the next thing is um, it's um, a eyeshadow. It's called Heart. I don't know. It's like kind of a pinkish. It's a pinkish color, but it's not pink pink. But it's really pretty color. That don't tell you a whole lot. Maybe y'all know the colors for bare, bare, bare minerals. I'm sorry. Um, and this one is called Soul. And it's a... It's like a... Um, like a sandy kind of color, I would call it. Which would go great to highlight with the, with the pink. And then the... The lip gloss that's in here is called Heart Cake. Oh, it's a pretty color. I love that color. That's so pretty. But all of this, oh, and here is a eyeliner. Color here. Let me see. It says charcoal. 
And then you have your, your eyeshadow brush. And then your, your foundation brush or your, um, your, um, blush or, or whatever, whichever one you want to use. This is, um, the night, um, it's a pretty big box. This is a great, this makes a great gift, y'all. If y'all are thinking about Christmas coming up, this is a wonderful um, set. It's a complete set. It's all brand new. Never, ever been used. And for a $15 start, I got Deb in at $15. Thank you, Miss Deborah. Beautiful set here. And Bare Minerals, y'all know Bare Minerals ain't cheap. Nice set here. This makes a great Christmas gift. Anybody want to go 16 on the Bare Minerals set? I know, right, Eric? This would make a great Christmas gift. You got everything in here you need to be all pretty. The brushes, the eyeliner, the 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 night moisturizer, the foundation, blusher, eyeshadow, everything you need, lip gloss, everything you could need in there. Angie's in at 16. Thank you, Angie. Deb's back at 17. Thank you, Miss Deborah. Angie's at 20, and Deb's back at 22. Thank you. Y'all know a good deal when you see it. Angie's at 25. Thank you, Miss Angie. Uh, Angie in at 25. What a great, great package this is. I'm trying to show it. I hope y'all can see it okay. The light don't want to hit it too well. It has the, um, like a foam thing that, that goes on top of it. And then it had a little, um, little booklet that came with it. I love B. Deb's in at 30. Thanks, Miss Deb. It's worth every penny of that, y'all. Y'all know bare minerals is not cheap stuff. But it is good, and that's why you got to pay more for bare minerals. Because it's such a great product. Angie's at 32. Thank you, Angie. The brushes... The eyeliner, everything you could need. Everything you need to be beautiful. Shelly, you still in here? Deb says she is out. Angie's got the high bid at 32. Jerry says count it down. Going once to Angie at 32. He ain't wasting no time tonight. He says, I need to speed it up. Any other bidders? Going twice to Angie at 32. Last chance. We're calling this one sold to Angie for $32. Congratulations, Angie. 
What a great deal. Thank you so much. What a great set. That was a wonderful deal. Thanks for bidding, Dad. And congratulations, Angie. That's great. That's a great set. Let me write this down. Thank you, thank you. I got that coming to you, honey, for $32. Congratulations is right. That is awesome deal. Awesome, awesome. Hey, yeah, uh, Shelly, I was just wondering. I didn't know if y'all went racing this past weekend. I was just going to ask you about it and see if y'all had gone. Congratulations is right. What a great deal. Wonderful, wonderful deal. All right. All right, we got Halloween coming up, y'all. And I have some... I picked out some scary movies. Y'all interested in some scary movies? We'll start these at $5. We got Twilight, The Eclipse. Shutter Island. Children of the Corn. Y'all know that's a scary one. <laughs> uh, let's see. The Village and the Devil's Own. Woo! Anybody interested in the lot? You're buying all of them for $5. Anybody interested in the movies? Y'all got second. That's great. Congratulations, Shelly. Congratulations. The second ain't no joke. I bet it was cold. It's been cool here at night, too. Jerry said it feels good, but I, I think it's getting chilly myself. Anybody interested in these spooky movies for Halloween coming up? Hey, Johnny. Welcome in, my friend. Hope you're doing good today. I got the lot of Halloween movies here for $5. Anybody interested in the Halloween movies? Well, it ain't the Halloween movie, but it's spooky movies for Halloween. That's what we need, right? Good old scary movies. I know last night, um, y'all remember the movie, I know y'all probably do, the, the movie Halloween, the original one, was on. And I didn't catch, I just saw it not f long before it was due to go off the air, and I'm glad I didn't see it, because that movie has always been one to scare me half to death. So I'm glad I didn't see it, actually. <laughs> Anybody interested in the Halloween movies for five bucks? Hey. Hey. You already have four of them. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and pass on the Halloween uh, spooky movies. Hey, Sanford. Welcome in. All right, um, next thing I want to show y'all is uh, I have a dash cam. This is brand new to go in your car, of course, on the dash. Duh. Um, how do you open the box, honey? Does it slide out? It just blocks open from the bottom. <laughs> I can't figure out how to open it. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. All right. So, this uh, dash cam, I want to start it out at $20. Uh, it is brand new. And let me get it out here. You can see how nice and small it is. So, it won't take up a lot of room on your dash. 
Um, mounts to the window. Jerry says it mounts to the window. He has one of these in his truck. Huh? He has it in his truck. Yes, I thought you did. Um, it has, uh, I'm just getting everything out of the box. I can show y'all what all's in here. It has um, the cigarette charger that plugs into your cigarette lighter. I guess I could take it out and then y'all could see, see it better. But this is the, the charger for it. Do you keep that plugged into cigarette lighter? Jerry keeps it plugged into the cigarette lighter so it's always charged. So when he starts the truck up in the morning, Sorry. it comes on, comes on. Uh, which is great. So uh, we have a company vehicle that he drives and to protect ourselves. And even in a personal vehicle, it's a great thing to have. So it protects you if anything happens. Um, for something as low as a $20 start, it could be the difference between he said, she said when it comes to an auto accident or something like that. Um, so it could make a difference for something that, that's this simple to use. It's just a plug and play system. Um, what is this? This part. Oh, so you can plug it into your computer, download it. You can download the video. Okay, so this is the cord that um, you plug into the camera and into your computer so that you can download the videos that this has recorded. Every day. You can download it into your computer. So you can save anything that happens. You save it on your computer and then you've got your proof if you have to go to court, right? Um, the next thing it has is the little... Um, Thing that you stick it on to stick to the window suction the suction cup and that sticks it to that mounts it is what it does so it's a it's that's what's in the box this is brand new um, so you've got um, the features on here let me see if I can figure this out now it has uh, the box huh Read the box. Jerry's telling me to read the box. It's easier. Or the instructions. Well, I don't see them, honey. Oh, here they are. Here's the instructions. So you get your quick start guide in here. All right, y'all. So you just plug it right in, mount that joker up, and connect the power cord. You can um, adjust uh, the resolution on it. I'm going to hold it up here as I read to y'all. Time date. You set your time of date. Um, you can um, auto record. It does have where you can insert a SD card if you want to do it that way, where the where the videos will download onto that. Um, it has a battery indicator to let you know in case you don't want to keep it plugged up the whole time. So there's all the things I was reading right there. So um, they're forty dollars on eBay. They're forty dollars on eBay. Jerry just told me this is a great item for twenty dollars start, y'all, and it is brand new. It's never been used. The little plastic is still over the camera right here. Uh, y'all just saw me open it up and take it out the box. So. They sell for $40 on eBay, and like I say, this is, um, it could be the difference between you winning or losing a lawsuit if, uh, you know, you get in a car accident or something like that. Um, so that's the bottom there. That's where you mount it onto that, and then it hooks, and then it suctions up to the windshield. So everything you need is in this box. It's a, it's a nice little, let's see, three and a half inches across and two inches high. So that um, is something that will not get in your field of vision as you're driving down the road. Um, just stays tucked in. He, when he starts his truck up in the morning, it cuts right on. So when he's driving, the maniac's driving out there. On the interstates around here, 
because he drives down to Atlanta almost every day. So the, the it's ridiculous the way these people drive around here. So um, he we're protected as a company and we're protected uh, personally. So um, it's just a great little camera and dash cams ain't cheap. Y'all know that. But if nobody's interested in it, y'all just talk pass in the chat and I'll move on. I thought this would be something that y'all would definitely be interested in. Um, it's just a nice camera. And when we saw one, I bought an extra one because Jerry wanted it. And um, so I just wanted to buy an extra one because um, we got it at a pretty good deal. And I wanted to offer that to y'all so that y'all would have the opportunity to have one for such a cheap price. So here is the, the cigarette lighter um, charger again. And then the the suction cup and then here's the cords to download it um people are crazy aren't they now love i'm telling you what people are out of their mind the way they drive anymore if i have to drive to atlanta oh my gosh i can't hardly stand it i, I really my knuckles are white by the time i get through there i just can't hardly take it my nerves can't handle it and people drive like 100 miles an hour going down the road but everything you need is in this box and it is um it it makes a great gift this really makes a great gift for someone if you know that uh you know someone drives a lot or whatever um this makes a great gift for them too uh, and it's all brand new and it comes in this this really nice box i'm putting it all back in here so y'all can see how it comes in the box um but when you open the box up, the camera sits in here, and then all the accessories were under it. Um, and then it just locks down like that. Uh, just, it's a really nice camera. Um, Andy says she's she's got one. She has her one already. So, um, y'all know. Um, so, she knows how valuable these things could actually be to you. It's a cheap insurance policy. Jerry's telling me to tell y'all it's a cheap insurance policy. It really is. Because it it protects you. It really does. So anybody interested in the dash cam? We will go ahead and pass. And if anybody wants it, let me know. And I'll get it back out for you. But it's a great deal. Um, it really is a good deal about half price of what you'll find on eBay so if anybody wants it let me know and um, maybe we'll pull it out another night maybe somebody else might be interested in it all right um, I had these one time before and they sold really well um, but I have uh, I have two of them and um, I just uh, I'm gonna ask three dollars for it this is a buy it now it's a makeup brush set and it comes in like a pleather little case that you can set on your dresser um, or your makeup case uh, vanity or whatever um, but it has a blusher um, brush um, eyebrows and your eyeshadow it's your face brush set but this is a cool item. Just three dollar. Buy it now. Anybody interested in the brushes? Three dollars. All right, Angie, got one for you, Miss Honey. Three dollars. Uh, do I have one more? Ooh. Look and see if I have one more. I think I might have three. Yeah, I do. Okay, so I got three of them. So I have two more. I got one going to Angie. Thank you, Miss Angie. Anybody else interested in a brush set for three dollars? Even if you have them brushes, y'all know you got to replace them. And everybody knows how expensive they are. So eventually you're going to have to buy some more. Why not buy it now for three bucks and you have it. 
extra in your cabinet waiting on you. Anybody else interested in the brush set for $3? And that's all I have. I have two more and that's all we got. They're all exactly the same. All the brushes are the same, but that's all I have, and I got two left. Anybody else interested in the makeup brushes for three dollars? This is a buy it now. Anyone else? I will go ahead and set them aside if anybody decides they want one. Holla holla, and I will get it back out. This is a great stocking stuffer. That's right, Eric. Fit right down in a stocking. Literally, a stocking stuffer. <laughs> Literally. Sanford, I wasn't ignoring you, hon. I just saw your, just saw your, um, I just saw your message about the purses. I do have some purses lined up to show. Um, fourteen dollars. Angie says these sell on eBay. Three dollars here. Think about that, y'all. Sanford, I do have some purses. Tell me, Danielle, what kind of purse you're looking for, and let me pull that out for you. Let me know what kind you like and what style you like. And I have a lot of purses. So, um, let me know what kind you're looking for. I do have some lined up to show. But I would like to get one out that I know you would like. If um, there's a particular kind that you'd like to see. Alright, no one else but Angie's interested in these. I will pull these out another night. And uh, maybe somebody else might could use these. Another day as we get closer to Christmas, perhaps. Let's find out. Uh, anybody like Mr. Incredible? He is absolutely incredible. And this is um, by Disney. Everybody's seen these movies. Michael Kors and Coach. Do you like a tote? Or do you like, um, like a crossbody? Um... I know it's Danielle. I know. <laughs> yes, congratulations to Angie on a great deal. She just told y'all they're selling for fourteen dollars on eBay, y'all. How much for Mr. Incredible? Ten bucks for Mr. Incredible, y'all. He has five points of uh, articulation, so must be his arms, his legs, and his head must move. Um. He is a collect. You know, a lot of people collect these. I had one. I had two of them, and one of them sold um, on another auction, and it was a girl that collects these kinds of things. So um, I wanted to get this one out. Um, I was going to list it, and then I thought, well, I'll offer it to y'all first and see if y'all are interested in mr incredible for an incredible deal ten dollars anybody interested he is brand new in the box not been taken out yeah i'm trying to line up some stuff for christmas coming up y'all it'll be here before you know it mr incredible is probably 10 inches tall probably maybe higher Oh, he's 12 inches high. So, he's a big one. He's a big boy. So this is the dad on here. Anybody interested in Mr. Incredible for anybody's interested in him let me know no I didn't Sharon I don't know what I do with my sunglasses I lost them sunglasses and I 
I don't know what I did with him. I have never in my life lost something like that. And it, it has literally drove me crazy. I find myself looking every day thinking, did I already look there? Maybe I didn't look here or there. And I don't know what I did with them. I don't, they are gone. And I don't know where in the world, where I put them. I, I don't have a clue. So, um, but if anybody's interested in Mr. Incredible, let me know. It's incredible. <laughs> Jerry said it's incredible. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. Oh, well. <laughs> um, all right. I have uh, uh, Michael Kors here. Uh, let's see. We'll look at this purse here first, y'all. This is a nice full-size bag. Um, it is Michael Kors. It has, um, it has like double handles. It has the chain handles here. And... Then it, as as a decorative, I like that as a decorative point. And then it has the two handles here, but the handles are long enough as such where you can carry it like that, um, or you could carry it like that. But they're long enough where you can carry them on your shoulder like this. Um, I need to start this one at fifty because of the size and the condition of this bag um it is in like new condition it's the signature chocolate brown the two-tone brown the darker chocolate with the lighter tan color um the straps are the brown saddle leather and that same saddle leather is woven between the gold tone chain. This has the gold tone hardware. The purse is, let me measure across the bottom here. It is 13 inches across and it is 10 inches high. It has the gold tone, um, feet on the bottom this bag is not torn or ripped or anything like that wait till you see the inside y'all ain't gonna believe it all right this one if you want to carry the whole house you can do it because it is big enough to carry the whole inside all right so on the inside it has three huge compartments it has um let me see if I can figure out the best way to show y'all. All right. So you have a huge, huge compartment there. You can see how clean that lining is. No stains. It has a huge um, zipper across there. That compartment is unbelievably huge. And then two slip pockets in front of the zipper. So that's on the back side of the purse. Then you have on the front side of the purse that much room again with two slip pockets on the front side. Then if that's not enough room, do the chains go on the inside? No, they hang on the outside, and I don't see a way to make them go on the inside, Sharon. They're beautiful, though. They make such a beautiful accent on it. Then, okay, so I showed y'all two great big compartments. Then you have a huge zipper section in the middle. So when I open that up, There's that whole middle. That's how big. This has so much room. And this purse is beautiful. It has all gold tone hardware. It is clean, clean, clean. It doesn't look like it has hardly ever been carried. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. Nobody else can see it. I know, I'm looking for, um, nobody can see it. 
Nobody can see it. No, what the hell down there? Well, I was looking at it. <laughs> I was looking at it. Well, I want to make sure I don't miss nothing and show it to y'all. Um, this is a beautiful purse. For only $50, um, it's a great, great deal, and it is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyone interested in this full-size Michael Kors purse? I guarantee my bags to be authentic. If I sell them to you as an authentic bag, it is. I guarantee you that. If you find out that I sold you a bag and if I thought it was authentic and it turns out that it's not, I would not tell you that it's that it is if I if I truly 100% believe that it was. You know, if if I think it's real, I'm gonna tell you. And if I'm if it's if it's fake, I got a couple of knockoffs that I can show y'all, and I'm going to sell them like that. Because, you know, sometimes only you know if it's Memorex, right? So, um, here is the tag in here that's inside. Is it showing up with serial number on it? So, it is real. Hey, Don, You didn't get a notification? wonder why. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, gosh. All right. This bag is gorgeous. Anybody interested in the Michael Kors purse for $50? If not, I'll move on to another item. Pass it on. Anybody interested in it, let me know. And I'm going to go ahead and pass. All right. I have, um, I have a smaller Michael Kors. This is a crossbody. This is the light, um, the light tan color leather with the gold tone hardware. And I need to start this one out at $40. This one um, is in light new condition. It has the zipper across the back. And it is Michael Kors. It has a big pocket on the front. It has... Um, a long crossbody chain, partial chain, and then the rest is leather. Beautiful bag. The, the strap is adjustable. This one is nine inches across and six inches tall. And this is a gorgeous little purse. It's perfect for fall. And it is a Michael Kors crossbody. Sanford wants the big pocketbook. Oh, Sanford wants the big one. You got it, Danielle. And it is beautiful. You're going to love it. Don't like the color on this one, but thank you. Don't like the color on this one? Okay. That's fine. Hey, that's fine. This one's going to you, Danielle. I mean, no one else asked to bid on it, and I'm going to go ahead and call this to Danielle. And Danielle, you're going to love it. And if you don't, let me know. But it is a beautiful bag. It really is gorgeous. Let me write this down. All right. So that one's yours for 50 bucks. What a deal, huh? That one. It's not broken. What are you talking about? It's that pocketbook. Oh, yeah. Let me show that one. It's not broken. Uh-uh. You rubbed it. Rubbed it's broken. It's not broken. What, what was wrong? Anything it's, wrong with it? Yeah. It's the one oh, that, it has a little uh, crack on the, on the thing handle. There. Yeah, it's not broken, though. It no. just cracked. It's not, but I'd let it go for a deal. I'll show yeah. it next. Okay. All right. Yeah, out, Anyone interested broken. in this little Michael Kors crossbody? Yeah. 
the one that um, Danielle just got for 50 bucks. You're talking about love? That purse is worth it. It is absolutely gorgeous. And they are not cheap. That's a full-size Michael Kors bag she just got for $50. And that joker is in like new condition. It's, it's beautiful. You just don't have a tag hanging off of it. Other than that, it looks great. Oh, that one there. How much is that one? Oh, 40 bucks to start this one off. And this one is also in brand new condition. And this is perfect for fall. Perfect crossbody. I like it. I have so many purses, y'all. I just can't carry them all. And I just want to share them with y'all. This is all the gold tone hardware with Michael Kors on it. Beautiful bag here. Gorgeous Michael Kors. Don says he don't need a new pocketbook. How are you doing, Don? I hope you're feeling okay, hon. Hope everything went well at the doctor and you got some answers. I hope so. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on for this one, then. All right. Let's see what else I've got, y'all. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. <coughs> I have a coach. Now, this one is a full-size bag. It is um, a signature. It's not leather. It's the... Um, the the material and it has um, the brown signature um, I'll start this one out at at thirty dollars and I'm gonna tell y'all why in just a second this bag is absolutely gorgeous it is has the vanilla type color um, trim on it with that color leather as well. The reason I'm going to start this one out a little lower, it's in beautiful condition. The only thing that, that I know that's wrong with this bag is on the handles, and I think it's from where it was stored, um, it has, um, it's not torn, but you can see on the handle right here, the, the leather is cracked. It looks like it was probably, the handle was folded and not stored properly. Um, but that handle is cracked. But it's secure. It, it's not through. The fabric, the, the inside of it is not um, torn through or anything. But the leather on the outside is cracked on the handles. And I do believe it was where... Um, you can see it on that one, too. It's where somebody, when they stored it, they let the handles flop. So, um, but the bag is absolutely gorgeous. It has a lot of life left in it. Um, it is a full tote on the inside. You can see how clean this lining is. See, this purse is in too good a condition for that. So... For that, that tells me they didn't store it properly. So, this wasn't my bag, um, but I thought it was gorgeous. Um, it has a full zip section on the wall right there. And you can see that it is Coach, and there's the serial number on it. I'll never ever not tell y'all if I see something. Then on the other wall, it has the two slip pockets. And that's the inside of it. Looks beautiful. Has this nice pull tab. I like that on it. But it still has a lot of life left in it. And I hate for it to just go to waste. Um, because it's a beautiful bag. And it's in beautiful condition. Y'all can see even the bottom's not dirty. 
I mean, they didn't even set it down. If they would have just stored it like it was supposed to be stored, then it wouldn't have had that one little problem. So, Danielle wants to pass. Anyone else interested in this coach bag? It is, um, let's see, ten and a half inches across the bottom, and then it kind of flares out to the top. And it's 12 inches tall. Anyone interested in the coach bag? It's a beauty. Still a lot of, a lot of life left in this pretty girl. Anyone else interested in the coach? Nope. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, love. If it's not real leather right there on those handles because it doesn't make sense the way that is it just doesn't make it just doesn't look right i don't know it's absolutely beautiful it's a beautiful bag <laughs> you know every now and then i'll keep looking for you a banana purse twyla i keep looking <laughs> Oh, <laughs> is that my accent, love? <laughs> I can't help it. Can't help it. All right. I have a vintage coach. This is uh, vintage. It's made out of, like, uh, the wool fabric. And it has, like, a plaid with purple, greens, um, like a... Uh, orangey gold kind of color, yellows, cream color, um, trimmed in the chocolate leather. Uh, this one, um, um, I'll start this at 25. And this one, uh, look how pretty on the inside. It is gorgeous. It has so much room. It has the lining across the back. Huh? Coach. Coach, yeah. And then it has that big section there. It has a big section on the front with slip pockets. It has a zipper section in the middle. And y'all can see how clean this purse is on the inside. It is beautiful. I love the color of this lining. I'm trying to get to the tag here. There's Coach. Serial number. It has the silver tone hardware with the little silver feet on the bottom. This is a beautiful bag for fall. Two handles. And it is a nice vintage bag. Anyone interested in the coach bag? 14 inches across, nice and big. Kind of narrows to the top. It is 9 inches. Huh? Anyone interested in the vintage coach? $25. Has the zipper section on the outside, which is nice. You can just stick your phone right there or your keys if you didn't want to have them on the inside. It's got that beautiful purple lining. It's beautiful color. I love it. This is a great purse for fall. You're right, Eric. The handles are not, not cracked or torn, anything like this. This one's beautiful. Anyone interested? We will move on. If anybody wants to see it, let me know. I have a hair dryer. The Dow Sassoon. This is a nice compact one um, that travel. you can travel with it. Nice compact size. Um, let's see here. We'll do a five dollar start on this. This uh, the Dow Sassoon is brand new, still in the plastic. There's your little plug here. Look how precious that is. 
even that small, 1600 watts. That's a lot of watts. Beautiful, uh, like a lilac color. Nice little, has a, the on off switch right here. And that's it. High and low, it says. Oh, it has high and low. There you go. Same switch. High and low, on, off. All that's in one switch. Anybody interested in the hair dryer for $5? interest on this. Y'all tell me what you want to see. I don't want to waste y'all's time and I don't want people to be bored. This even has the instructions if you don't know how to work a hair dryer. <laughs> Got the instructions on the inside. So this makes a nice Christmas gift for a teenager or somebody like that or if you travel a lot or know somebody that travels a lot this is a great gift Nana's in at five she says well that is a good deal thank you Nana anybody want to go six on the travel hair dryer It'll even switch to the weird voltage if you go overseas or something. Two heat, two speeds, lightweight, compact size. Has a hanging ring, it says. Anybody want to go six? We're going to count this down to Nana for $5. Going once to Nana for $5. New hair dryer still in the box. We wanted twenty dollars on the dash cam, Don. And that was a great deal. I hate you missed it. It's a great deal, Don. Jerry has one in his truck and it works great. When he starts it up in the morning, because he keeps it plugged in, when he starts the truck up, um, the camera comes on. So, and then it has the thing, the wire where you download the video for the day, um, or whenever you want to download it. And, hi Jeff. It, um, it's a great, it's a great item. Like Jerry said, it's a, it's a great insurance policy for you. You know, if something happens, you get in a car accident, it's your word against the other person in a lot of cases. So, um, no one else is bidding on this. We're calling this sold to Miss Nana for $5. Congratulations. What a great deal. <laughs> $5 for a brand new hair dryer. Good deal. If you decide you want it done, let me know. Um, because nobody bought it, uh, we bought when we when we bought those dash cams. Um, oh, you do. You already have two of them. Um, yeah, we bought them. We bought an extra one. Jerry wanted it, and I bought an extra one because we got it for a good price, and um, I wanted to pass that along in case anybody wanted one. So, all right. I have this cute little Halloween bear. Oh my goodness, look at there, how cute, how cute, how cute. Um, uh, this is a, um, hold on, she's all dressed up for Halloween, and it's the Barrington Bear Collection. And we'll just start this little cutie off at $3. She's got a nice little Halloween dress on. 
pretty little Halloween bow in her hair, carrying a little ghost Halloween trick-or-treat bag. And this is from um, the Barrington Collection. And I'm looking to see if it had a year or something, but I don't see a year on her tag. Um, so it was made in Kennesaw, Georgia. I didn't notice where they made those. Dawn's in at three. Dawn's in at three. It's in great condition. Thank you, Dawn. Anybody want to go for the little legs move? The arms do too. The arms jointed. Yep, the arms are jointed as well. I'm about to pull her dress off. Hold on, let me get her dressed back up here. Here we go. Pretty little bear. And Dawn's in at three. Anybody, anybody want to go four? Look at that face. <laughs> We'll start counting it down to Dawn. Nobody's interested in the bear, but Dawn. Going once to Dawn for three dollars. I know it's cute, right, Eric? Going twice to Dawn, three dollars. No other bids. Calling it sold to Dawn for $3. Congratulations, Dawn. That's a cute little bear. It's so cute. Congratulations. That belongs to Dawn. All right. I have some... Um, some indoor extension cords. Um, these are made by Woods. And y'all look um, at the, the lining on this. It's like a fabric lined braided cord. It's real heavy duty feeling. And I want to start this at $4 for the, in, the extension cord. It is, um, let me see how long it is. It's a light blue color. It has three um, different extension port holes. It's eight feet long. And it's real pretty. It's a decor series. Anyone interested in the indoor drop cord for $4? You are very welcome, Don. Thank you. Anyone interested? You can always use drop cords. I love the way um has like a clear. That's clear. And the color's real pretty too. They look it ain't that old same old brown or same old white. I like the way you can see inside like that. I think it's pretty cool looking. Anybody interested in a drop cord? Nobody needs a drop cord? Oh, Christmas is coming. And decorations will go up. Israel said he'll take it for four. Don's in at five. Thank y'all. Anybody want to go six on the drop cord? Jerry said go ahead and pass them out for five dollars. I have four of them. Um, and that's all I got. So, anybody, uh, let's see. Don was the high bidder at five. Don, let me know how many you would like, hun. I got four of them. So, Don is my high bidder. And if he doesn't take them all, um, we will see if Israel still wants one for five dollars. 
But I have four of them, and that's all I got. And that's a great deal for five dollars. Even these make great Christmas gifts. I'm trying to get out some Christmas stuff for y'all. Don wants two of them. Got you, Don. So I got two going to Don. And Israel wants the other two. Thank y'all so much. Congratulations to both of y'all on great on a great deal. These will come in handy for sure. Okay, two goes to Dawn at $5 each. And then two goes to Israel. Pays to be the bidder. All right, so I got two going to each of y'all. Great deal is true. That is true. Now, I do have um, an outdoor cord that I wanted to show y'all. Um, and I need to start this one at 5. I have to start it at 5. It's 20 feet long. And it is the outdoor kind. I guess you could still use it. Can you use an outdoor cord inside? Yeah. You can use an outdoor cord inside. It's 16 gauge. It is a heavy duty. This is a heavy cord. Um, but just a $5 start. Even has a picture of Christmas lights on there. Because y'all know y'all going to be putting them up soon. And it is going to be here before you know it. Here's the, the, the plug and all that. They've got it kind of hooked together in there. And this is brand new, still in the package. 20 feet long. Don says he'll take one for five dollars. Anybody want to go six? Uh, Nana said six. Thank you, Dana. Israel's in at seven. Thank you, Israel. Israel just barely beat you, Don. I mean, by a fraction of a second. Nana's at eight, and Don's in at ten. Thank y'all so much. Got Dawn in at $10. Nana says she's out. Nice heavy duty outdoor cord. It's white. Brand spanking new. Israel's in at 12. Thank you, Israel. Anybody want to go? 13 on the power cord. Outdoor power cord. 20 feet long. Heavy duty. I got Israel in at 12. Don said he is out. And that was all my bidders. Anyone else interested in going 13 on the outdoor power cord? Going once to Israel at $12. Going twice to Israel at $12. And that's it. Calling it sold to Israel for $12. And I have two. That's all I have of these. It's just two. So, and they're identical. Israel, let me know if you would like one or both. They're exactly the same. Just let me know if you want one or two. And that's all I have of this kind. There's just two of them. Israel just wants one. Don, would you like the other one? You were the backup bidder. And Don said he'll take the other one. Awesome deal, guys. Thank y'all so much. And congratulations to both of you on a great deal. Awesome deal. 
$12. $12 going to each of you. Thank y'all so much. Monopoly. This still has the plastic on it. The plastic um, is right here on this corner. Is broken. Somebody must have snagged it with their finger or something. You can see how the plastic's up on it. But it still has the plastic on it. So, um, I'll just do $8 start on Monopoly. Brand new. Monopoly. These are the characters that are in this one. It has a dinosaur. Y'all ever seen a dinosaur before? That's pretty cool, right? The top hat. That's a classic. How much? $10. No, $8 I said to start on the Monopoly. It has a race car in it, Shelly. It has, look like a little... Battleship. A battleship. Love's in it, eight. Thank you, love. It has a penguin and a kitty cat. A duck. A little Scotty dog. A lot of cool, um pieces on this one and loves in at eight dollars anybody want to go nine on monopoly this is new a dinosaur pretty cool i've never seen a dinosaur before in monopoly but Love's got the high bid at $8. I know, I've never seen these before. The top hat. I was trying to remember what was my favorite one when I used to play. I don't remember. Been so long ago. I would say it was probably the iron. You remember the little iron? <laughs> But tell, telling on my age a little bit. Love's got the high bid at, at $8. Anybody want to go 9 on the Monopoly game? We're going to start counting this down to Love. And she's fixing to get a good deal right here for $8. Going once to Love for $8. Brand new Monopoly. Love's got the high bid at eight. No one wants to go nine on a brand new Monopoly game? Going twice to love, eight dollars. No other bidders. We are calling it sold to love for eight dollars. What a deal. What a deal. Congratulations, love. That is a great deal. Brand new. You ain't gonna get it at Walmart that cheap. That's for sure. We open one of these. I have some children's videos and I'll just start these out at four dollars and you're getting five and you're buying all of them for one money. Great Christmas, uh, not Christmas, but children's collection. The first one is a little Christmas video. We sing the best Christmas ever. So they must sing all kind of nice Christmas songs. Um... Here's Rugrats Gone Wild. My youngest son used to love Rugrats. Here is um, a nice PBS show. Kylo goes back to school. He's a just nice little clean cut little little videos. Isn't it, isn't it refreshing? JJ the Jet Plane. Just $4 for these videos. And you're buying all of them for one money. 
Yo Gabba Gabba. Music makes me move. So you're getting all of them for one money. Four dollars. Anyone interested in the children's DVD collection? interested we're gonna go ahead and pass if anybody's interested in these nice little videos y'all let me know I have um, a jewelry box here and it's a watch box you could use it for bracelets um, let me get it open here um, you could definitely use it for bracelets, but you can see it has the clear on top. I'm just going to start this at $5, and it has the nice uh, velvety lining on the inside. It's a brown, um, just a brown color, and it has um, the, you could put your watch or bracelet around here. And it has room for one, two, three, four, five of them. So you can put five in here at one time. Or I guess if you have bracelets, you could put more than one around each of those. So love's in at five. Thank you, love. Anybody want to go six? Anybody want to go six on the jewelry box? 34 and 15. That's a big wide spread, Eric. <laughs> Larry's in at six. There you are, Larry. Thought we lost you. <clears throat> you could probably put two or three uh, bracelets across each one of these. This is brand new. It's not been used. Nice clean inside. It has a like a peachy tannish color um, fabric, like a velvety kind of fabric on the inside here. Very pretty. Loves in at seven. You have about forty-five watches. Wow, Don, do you collect watches? I have some watches I'll have to put up one day and let you see if you're interested in any of them. And Larry's in at eight. Thank you, Larry. 33, 24, and 18. Oh my goodness. That's a long spread between 34, 33 and 18, isn't it, love? <laughs> That is a lot. 45. Now I have Larry in at $8 with the high bid. Anybody want to go 9 on the watch or bracelet jewelry box? This is um, 10 inches long. Lots of room inside here. Oh, Jerry says, let's go once to Larry for $8. Love's in at 9 Thank you, love. Larry's back at 10 Thank you, Larry. Nice bracelet box. Love says she's out. Larry's got the high bid at 10 Going once to Larry for $10. Don, you need a box to put some of them watches in. Go 
going twice to Larry for ten dollars. <laughs> You're not old, Nana. And we are calling this sold to Larry for $10. Larry, Larry, awesome deal for you. Hold on. I have two of these. They are identical. Um, they are identical. So, Larry, let me know if you would like one or two. They are exactly the same. So if you have a lot of bracelets or watches, then you could use these. But I got Larry for $10, and I have two of these, and that's all I have. Just let me know, Larry, if you'd like one or two for $10. He'll take both of them. Thank you, Larry. Pays to be the bidder because he got a good one there. Congratulations, Larry. Awesome deal. Thank you so much. These are going to Larry. Congratulations. I know it's starting to get fall, but y'all know y'all still got to wash your car every now and then. Um, I have a nice um, spigot. What do you call this, honey? What do you call these things? Water hose squirter? Water hose squirter. I'm going to take it out of here. It's brand new in the box. Um, one of these. Squirt, squirt. Um, and I want to start this off at $5 to start here. Nice water hose squirter. It has your different selections here. Let me put my glasses on. has a flat spray, a shower spray, a mist, flood, cone, center, jet. Nice uh, rubberized grip here. Grip on the back here. Has a little adjuster here, which is nice. Unfortunately, I know how to work these well. Has the lock thing, so you can lock it. And you want to let it just keep on pouring. Angie's in at five. Thank you, Angie. Very nice water hose squirter. And you send it five. Yep, starting out at five dollars. Would anyone like to go six on the water hose squirter? This is brand new in the box. Let me put it back in here so y'all can see. This is like a great Christmas gift again. I'm trying to help y'all out with Christmas. Water hose squirter. Anybody want to go six? On the water hose squirter. Angie's in at five. I like to take mine to the car wash too, Twyla. <laughs> oh. Water and flowers. That's perfect. Good idea, Angie. Oh my gosh, a hurricane blew it away. So now she's going to get a great one for five bucks. Going once to Angie for five dollars. No one wants to go six. 
Going twice to Angie for five dollars. Hers got blowed away in the hurricane. Ah! <laughs> I promise you it'll still work. <laughs> Alright, let me get it back in the box. I leaned it just a little bit too far. Ah! Alright, there's all the paperwork back in it. There we go. I should have had my finger on it. Alright, we're going to call it sold for $5 to Angie. Now, Angie, I have two of them. Let me know if you want both or do you want just one. Israel wanted one. I don't know. If you want both, that's fine. You're the high bidder, so you get first choice. So... Um, let me know if you want one or two, because I have two of them, and they're exactly the same. <laughs> I know. That's what I do. I always drop something. So one goes to Angie, and Angie only needs one. Israel, would you like the other one for $5? Let me write this down for you, Angie. Israel wants the other one, so. For $5 each, y'all. Those are coming to y'all. Thank y'all. Congratulations. <laughs> I ain't surprised. It just took me that long just to decide to drop something. I usually drop something before that. So I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Anybody interested in the, I have a charm bracelet. And it has uh, a little football charm that goes with it. And I'll start this at a dollar. Has a little toggle clasp. Uh, this isn't silver, it's fashion. But it has a little football charm that I'll sell to go with it. And both of these are for one money. You can take that little charm, put it on there, and you'll have a, a nice little pretty little bracelet for football season. Anyone interested in the little charm bracelet for a dollar? Mm. I ain't too proud to wear fashion jewelry. I wear it all the time. Larry's in at a dollar. Thank you, Larry. Anybody want to go two on the charm bracelet? With the little football charm. Going once to Larry for a dollar. Hop in. Going twice to Larry for a dollar. No other bidders. Calling this one sold to Larry for five dollars. Or <laughs> one dollar. <laughs> I was about to say five. A girl can dream, can't she? Congratulations, Larry. I got this one coming to you for a dollar. Not five dollars. Hi, Freddie. Come here. Oh, he left. I was going to show y'all Fred. He was coming in for a visit, but he left. Do what? Oh, he says y'all have already seen Fred. I have a Halloween selection of Beanie Babies, y'all. I have your buying choice, and we'll start them at $3. And we'll start the bid at $3. So I have a little ghost. 
And then here's another one. That looks like that screen guy, don't it? From that movie. Uh, here's a spider. This ain't really Halloween, but it was a bug. So I thought it kind of looked like it might be for Halloween. <laughs> it was a bug. And bugs are gross and, and whatever. So here's a little Halloween bear. And then this fella isn't really for Halloween, but it looked like he was dressed up for Halloween. He's in a little Joker outfit. <laughs> don't he look like a little what like a little kid would have on for I don't know. To me he looked like a little like he had on the Halloween outfit. Like he was dressed up for Halloween. <laughs> So, have the little Joker. I don't know what his real name is. Let me put on my my glasses. Calopy. Calopy is his name. I was trying to see how to fasten his little shirt back. There it goes. A little Velcro. So anyway, I thought he looked like he was dressed up. Then here's the little ghost. Ghost name is Spooky. All these have the tags on them. And then here's a little black with the gold glitter in him. With the little Halloween uh, pumpkin on his chest. His name is Haunt. Then this is just a bug that I thought looked like Halloween because his name is Scurry. <laughs> his name is Scurry. Get it? Like Halloween, scurry. Here's Spinner, the spider. And this one looks like Scream. His name is Sheets. Alright, so you're buying choice of the Beanie Babies. Then let me check out the chat. I had Dawn at 3, Israel at 4, and Dawn's back at 5, and Israel is out. So Dawn has the high bid right now at $5. Would anybody like to go 6 on the choice for Beanie Babies? All dressed up for Halloween. Going once to Dawn for $5. Jerry said let's roll. Sheets is an unusual one, I thought. This one, it looks like a Joker. It's cool. I've never seen him before either. Going twice to Dawn for $5. Let's Love, there you are. Love's in at six. That was close. It's our Halloween choices. Ones I thought. And a bug. Just because bugs are scary. Oh! Sheets. Don's at seven. Thank you, Don. And a bug. Halloween themed Beanie Baby Night. And Don's got the high bed right now at $7. Anyone want to go eight on the Beanie Baby choice? This one looks like a kid dressed up for Halloween to me. That's why I put that one in the in the lot here. Love is at eight. Loves at eight, and Don said he's out. Thanks for bidding, Don. Going once to love for eight dollars. <clears throat> Spinner the spider. Going twice to love for eight dollars. No other bidders. I'm seeing no one else, and I'm calling them sold to love for eight dollars. Congratulations, love. Let me know which one or ones you'd like to have. We have sheets, the Halloween bear, 
the Joker, that bear, a bug, and Spinner the Spider. There are one, two, three, I have six of them in the lot. Love wants the Joker. Don't it look like a little kid dressed up for Halloween? I thought it did. Love wants the Joker. Got this one. Done. That must be the one he wanted too. All right. Write this down. All right. I got this coming to you. Congratulations, love. The Joker is yours. Israel wants the spider. Spinner the spider. Thank you, Israel. Or is this for Caden? Hmm. All right. Spider. Got that one down for you. Thank you, Israel. Caden's going to love it. Anyone else interested in the remaining Beanie Babies? Well, he might want them, but I have a feeling it's for the green baby. Anybody else interested in the Beanie Babies? It's going to take it all, but it took too long. I was going to take them all, but it took too long. Oh, whatever. What did I do wrong? Because oh. <laughs> I was counting it down to him for five. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, Don. Caden will love that spider. That's what I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you want any of these, you let me know, and Dawn, I apologize. Um, if you'd like to have any of them, let me know. Alright. Okay. I have, um... A nice little set of Sesame Street books. Did I show these the other night? I don't know, mate. I think I did. I think I did. Hmm. I'll show them real quick in case there's somebody that didn't see them. I didn't realize. I was thinking I didn't show these yet. But, um... Mm -hmm. uh, but these are, are is a nice little set of Sesame Street hardback books. Um... And it has um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12 books that are in here. They're little tiny little books, but they're little hardback books. And nice little easy reads for a beginning reader. Um, and it's a nice little set. And it has some um, books about counting and rhymes. Um, all kind of, of nice little, we'll start this at $5 for the set. Um, 12 fun stories build preschool skills. Elmo's music, favorite colors, share with me, count with me, sesame sounds. Nice little set. And it's in this little um, box that has a nice little handle so they can carry it with them. If you go into the doctor's office or something, nice something they can look at. Yeah, this is a great little set. They're in great condition for a $5 start. Anybody interested in the Sesame Street books?
All right. If anybody's interested in those, um, I had forgotten that I showed them last week. I think it was last week or maybe the week before. I can't remember. But I forgot I showed them. Or I wouldn't have showed them again that quick. So, uh, anyway. These are different now. John Lightning quit in 2004. Okay. These You'll have to tell me what to say because I don't know nothing about them Maybe cars. I need to explain to you first. Okay. These are Johnny Lightning. The, the, the reason they're Johnny Lightning is they have a thing on the bottom of them okay. that propels the cars. Okay. But they quit making these in 2004. Okay. Or this company did. Okay. This playing Manus. So these were okay. made before 2004. Okay. Jerry's going to hand me some little cars. I'm going to show y'all. These are different. Um, they're kind of like um, Hot Wheels, but they're made by Johnny Lightning cars. They're Johnny Lightning cars. One, two, three, four, five. I have five different ones, and you're going to buy choice on these. Um, they are new in the package. We'll try them. Jerry's going to try them. He has a little reserve on it. He's going to tell me what to say. Because I don't know anything about them, y'all. I'm going to put them up here so y'all can see them. As I describe them to you. So this company stopped making these in 2004. Yes, Playing Mantis. Or Playing Mantis. Playing Mantis is the company. They discontinued use on these. Um, what do you want to start these at? Two dollars piece. We're going to start them at two dollars, he said. Um... Lisa, you had the beginning in Spangled Time Bingos. I don't know. What is that? I don't know. You'll have to explain to me, love, what you're looking for, hon. Beginning in Spangled. I don't know what that means. I don't either. Tell me what that means. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So these Johnny Lightning cars, we're starting them out at $2. Uh, Jerry does have a little reserve on them. Just to... Um, there's a difference in Johnny Lightning and Hot Wheels. There's a difference in Johnny Lightning and Hot Wheels. Johnny Lightning cars have a feature on the, bottom. on the bottom of them. Let me show y'all. It has a um, what is it? Honey? See on the bottom of them, there's a there's a hook on the bottom. Of there's them, a the hook front end. on the front end of each car. Yeah. There's a hook. Y'all see that little section right there? That Black them, section. That allowed them to be propelled. That allowed the car to be propelled? On the track. On the track. So, um, these are metal construction. Yep. Most of them, the hood's open. Most of them, you'll find the hood is open on them. <laughs> that one's not open. No, some of them don't. Some of them don't have it open, he said, and some of them do. Um, this one, and they all have this thing here. What's this for? It's just a commemorative button. It's a commemorative button that comes with it. Read on the back, it tells you. Okay. It's a limited edition, authentic, commemorative replica of the original Johnny Lightning die-cast car, which first appeared in Toy Stories back in 1969. Today, the original 47 models have become highly collectible. We're celebrating their success by reissuing eight popular models. We've also included a special collector coin, each stamped with an exclusive limited edition number. So there's eight models that were popular of the 47 that they had that they have released in this limited edition collection. So I have five of them here. Do we have the other three or just these five? Is that all we have? I know, right, Deborah? I don't have the track, Paula. <laughs> Do we have the track? No. We don't have the track. Hi, Jody. Welcome in. Okay, so this one, y'all, is a pretty green car. 
It is. We do have that bear. What does it say? Does it have what kind of card it is, honey? Yeah, it tells you on there. Hmm. On the little tag. Oh, this is a custom GTO. Green custom GTO. This one is a vicious vet. So it's a beautiful green metallic Corvette. Look at the hood and the motor coming out of that joker. Don's in it forward. Thank you, Don. The next one is a classic 32 Roadster. And you can see that there's a serial number on each of these uh, the coins that comes with each of these cars. Pretty car right there. Uh, this one is a El Camino. When Jerry and I first started dating, he drove an El Camino. And it was blue, too, which is pretty neat. It was an 81. Well, it was an 81 El Camino, but this is, it don't tell what year it is. It just says El Camino, honey. That's an old one to hear. Well, I know this is older than that. But anyway, y'all. Anyway, this is a blue El Camino. <laughs> Looks like it has surfboards laying in the back of it. Pretty cool. We didn't have surfboards. We didn't have surfboards in South Carolina. I guess you could have had surfboards in South Carolina. We got a beach over there. Here's the big bomb. No, a bug bomb. Oh, it's a Volkswagen. So that's a pretty, like a wine color Volkswagen. Yeah, you're buying choice. And Jody's got the high bid right now at $5. And Bill's carrying on barking at something, y'all. Y'all hear him? So, Jody's got the high bid at $5. And here are all of them. I have five. I'm going to back up just a bit so y'all can see them all. Let me know. I uh, got Jody in at five. Would anybody like to go six on the Johnny Lightning cars? These you don't see all the time, like you do Hot Wheels all the time. These are different. Yep. What do you have over there? I have a Bug, an El Camino, Custom GTO, a Vicious Vet, and a Roadster. You have another one? Yeah. Jerry found another one. Hold on, y'all. Uh, huh? A moving van. You found more than one? Yeah. There's only eight. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I tell you. Wonder if we have eight of them. There's a Coronado. Yeah. I know you hear Bill barking. I know, right? Love's in at six. Thank you, love. There's a GTO. Jerry found the other three, so that would make all eight. Well, I don't know about that now. It says eight. Well, I don't know what eight. It says reissuing eight popular models. Which ones? I don't know. It just said eight. Oh, here they are. They're listed here. The El Camino, the GTO, the XKE sports car. Do you have that? There's a Tornado. A 32 Roadster. A Volkswagen. The moving van. The Wasp. There's the moving van. Do you have the Wasp? The Wasp? I don't know which one that is. What's this? It's a Tornado. It's a Tornado. I don't know. I don't know. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six of them I have here. I think they must have made more. So I think they must have made more, right? Because we have a couple that ain't on the list. So that makes them really rare. <laughs> I don't know, Twala. Here, I look one minute. Well, no, it tells you what years. Some of them are different years. Some of them are different years, Jerry said. They came out different years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All righty. Gotcha. See, look at the back. All right. Hold on. 
let's see, Jody um, Love retracted her bid, so we're back at five dollars for Jody. Let me know if you're still in at five, Jody. It's getting too complicated. I'm getting too many here. Let's see. See, this is different. Oh, it has a different list. This is ninety-four. Oh. That's ninety-five. Oh, okay. So it came out each year different, different ones. ones. Okay. So I have. Okay, that's all. Okay, I have seven. I have several different ones. I know we got a lot of them. Jody, let me in if you are in at five dollars still. Okay, Jody's still at five. Anybody want to go six on the Johnny Lightning cars? They just don't come up that often. They were hard to get. Jerry said these were hard for him to get. And you just don't see them that often. And these are all brand new in the package. Never been opened. Some were released in 94, and some were released in 95, right? Yes. Those all were released in 94. These were all released in 94, Jerry said. He is upset up there. Yes, he is. Y'all hear Bill hollering? He is upset. I know, um... Going once, let's get them going. Going once, Jerry said we've met the the um the minimum that we can have. Going once to Jody for five dollars. What a great deal on this! Going twice to Jody for five dollars. What a great collection, y'all. This, this is some unbelievable cars. They just don't make them. Anymore. You just do not see Johnny Lightnings. You don't see them. And these are great, great, great condition. All right. How many does Jody want? All right. Sold to Jody. Jody, how many would you like? I'm going to try to pull them in a little closer so you can see which ones they're... No, well, love came in and then retracted. Okay. So then I asked Jody, was she still in at five? And yes, so. All right, All right okay. so we have. Jody and five. Just let me know which ones you like. 32 Ford and a bit. 32 Ford. She wants the vet and the 32 Roadster. So I got these two right here coming to you, Jody, for $5 a piece. Let me write this down here. Alright, so those two go to Jody. So I have five more here in this set to show if anyone else would like to have any of these for five dollars each. Anyone else interested in any of the Johnny Lightning cars? Got five of them left. Congratulations, Jody. Got the moving van. The GTO. It's the yellow one. I can't see it. The yellow one is a GTO as well. One is yellow and one is green. And then I have 
the Volkswagen, and the El Camino. Anyone else interested in Johnny Lightning cars for $5 a piece? Great deal. Great collector item here. Alright, if anybody else is interested in the Johnny Lightning cars, let me know and we will get them out just for you. No other bidders on these don't look like. So, y'all passing up something right here that you just won't see very often. Congratulations, Jody. Good deal for you. I'm telling you. have some some leave-in hair conditioner fast food and I'll start this at three dollars this is brand new by AG hair care great brand here leave-in conditioner for your hair This is a six ounce tube. Leave in hair conditioner. Anyone interested in the hair conditioner? Started at a dollar for Dawn, that'll work. Anyone want to go to on the leave in hair conditioner fast food by AG Hair Care? This is an excellent brand, y'all. Y'all are missing out on this one. This does not come cheap. go that's how that works and Don's got the high bid at a dollar for this y'all this is unbelievable deal anybody want to go to on the leave-in conditioner brand new never been opened yeah Bill Bill came down here Twala he wants us to come upstairs and come see what he was barking at Going once to dawn for a dollar on the leave-in conditioner. Deb's in it too. Thank you, Miss Deborah. Don said he's out. Going once to Deb for two dollars. Going twice to Deborah for two dollars. Deb must have looked it up and saw this is this is good stuff. No other bidders. Sold to Deborah for two dollars. Congratulations, Deborah. What a great deal. I am giving stuff away today, y'all. 
Y'all killing me. Oh. I want y'all to get some good deals. I shouldn't say that. That wasn't very nice, was it? I appreciate everything y'all do. I really do. I got two vintage Pez dispensers. And we'll just start at a dollar. You're getting both of them. The little happy face and Speedy Gonzalez. Two vintage Pez dispensers. Candy not included. You probably wouldn't want the candy for... Oh, Deborah, thank you. Thank you. You're so sweet. Y'all, it's been so long since I opened the Pez dispenser. I ain't sure how to open it. But anyway, y'all know how it works. It is flips back. Speedy Gonzalez and a little happy face. I was going to look to make sure there wasn't no candy in it, but I don't know how to open it. But I don't think nothing's in there. I don't feel like it. I can't believe I can't remember how to open them. I don't know how I don't remember how that. Oh, there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, simple as that. <laughs> Don's in it too. Thank you, Don. <laughs> Anybody want to go three on the vintage Pez dispensers? in it too. Anybody want to go three? We'll start counting it. Go once to Don for two dollars. Going twice to Don for two dollars. No other bidders. Calling it sold to Dawn for two dollars. Congratulations, Dawn. Thank you so much. I have um, a little baby's handprint set. Um... This contain, um, I'll just start this at five dollars. Um, oh, I know, Twilight, I need to come up with something, don't I? Me and me and Deb's been talking about it. I, I've got to come up with some good, fun things like that. All right, this little handprint set. Hi, Susan, welcome in. Hope you're doing all right. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. All right. So, uh, what I'm showing here is the baby's handprint set. This is brand new still with the package uh, plastic on top. This is um, a plastic mold and a bag of plaster. The little easel that you put the little the finished item on. And a piece of colored chalk. Susan Aronson. Here's the back of it. It's made by Child of Mine, which is a Carter's company. I'm trying to get closer here. So that's what it does. 
when you have your little kid or baby you could put their little footprints in it um such a cute little item great way to make a great memory I have a handprint of one of my kids. They made it for me and brought it home from school one day. It was so cool. Still got it. No. <laughs> Lisa's got to come up with something, y'all. Anyone interested in the handprint set? For five dollars to start it even has a little easel to set the finished item on the shape is a little heart which is so cute anyone interested in this item tonight for five dollars to get it started brand new still with the plastic around it Anyone interested in this item tonight? Made by Carter's. No interest in this. We're going to pass it. Anybody changes their mind wants to see it, holler at me and I'll pull it back out for you. Oh, Susan. Susan, Susan, hold on. Susan said that she would like to get it started at $5. I didn't have any other interest. I'm going to go ahead and call this sold to Susan for $5. Congratulations, Susan. It's a great deal. You are my only bidder. No other interest. So I am calling it for you, honey. Thanks for coming in. And you got here just in time. Thank you. Thank you. Let me write this down. Oh my goodness. Congratulations, Susan. I didn't mean to yawn. That's <laughs> bad, ain't it? I'm tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Okay. I have um I have a jewelry box. It's red. Um it's padded on the top. And it's it has like um like a velour um, covering on it not velour suede like a suede covering on the top or all over the whole thing for that matter but it's padded on the top um, it has a silver tone hardware on it this is brand new still has the plastic on the little latch here um, where it, it is brand new. Um, and I'll start this out at six dollars to get it started um, it's beautiful on the inside has lots of uh, hooks here to hang your necklaces or bracelets a little pouch here lots of room for your rings your brooches pins bracelets anything like that it has um, here's the key that I just took out of it the key that goes with it uh, that you can lock it up um, beautiful jewelry box here six dollars to get it started I don't know do you call that velvet it feels like velvet it's really, it's really, really soft. I think it is. I think it's velvet, actually. I think that's what it's called. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Comes with a key to lock it up. Twyla's in at six. Thank you, Miss Twyla. 
velvet it is. That's what it is, velvet. Very, very soft, beautiful red color. Has like white stitching on it. Lots of room in this one. Susan's in at seven. Thank you, Susan. Twala says she is out. Has the hooks here at the top, all along the top there to hang your necklaces and let me get the light to hit it. There you go. You can do it like that. You can see the hooks. Um, there's not a brand on it. card with a key on it, but I don't know the brand of it. Ganya, this says. G-U-A-N-Y-A. G-U-A-N-Y-A. Ganya? Ganya. See if I can scan things. Let me see if I can look. Nothing pulls up, so it can't be found. I don't know what that is. Very pretty, pretty, pretty box. Susan was in at 9 while I was dreaming over here. Don came in at 10, and Susan was back at 11. Don said he's out. Yeah, it is pretty, Twyla. This is so pretty. I love this red. It's beautiful. And Susan's got the high bid right now at 11. Anybody want to go 12 on the jewelry box? The box itself is 11 inches long. And it is 7 1⁄2 inches wide. Nice big box. Such a beautiful color. It look beautiful on your dresser. Mm -hmm. And Susan's in at 11. Going once to Susan for $11. Has a key here with it. You can lock it up tight. Nobody will get your stuff. Going twice to Susan for eleven dollars. No other bidders. We're calling this one sold to Susan for eleven dollars. Congratulations, Susan. You're getting some deals tonight. Very pretty box. You're going to love that one. Very, very nice. Anybody want to get healthy? Got a George Foreman grill. We'll start this at $10. George Foreman nonstick copper infused. This is, uh, let's see, two serving grill and panini maker. Brand new, never been used. $10 to get this started and you can be eating healthy by the end of the week. Look at them quesadillas right there. Don't them look good? You could be making some of them. All kind of healthy items you can make on here. Drains the fat away. Mm -mm -mm. Them hamburgers look pretty good. I had a doctor's appointment this afternoon, so I didn't get home in time to cook Jerry a thing. So he should have took this out the box. He could have cooked us up something while he was waiting on me to get home.
Exclusive fat removing slope for healthier grilling. Anybody need them a George Foreman grill? You could have some bacon frying up right by your bed in the mornings. Classic office episode. <laughs> if there's any people on here to like to watch The Office. <laughs> Nobody likes George Foreman. Nobody's interested in George Foreman. Don said pass on it. There we go. All right. All right, honey. What time is it? 20 to 10. Yeah. All right. Um, We've run through. I think uh, we're going to call it for tonight. Jerry had a long day today, and you love your George, Susan? Yeah, I actually don't have one. I should keep it, I guess, and try it for me and Jerry and see if I like it. I've never I've never used one before. Our son has one and he loves his. Um but um but I don't know I've never cooked on it before, but I bet it it reminds me of when I was young they used to have um presto hamburger patty thing. I think that's basically what it is, but it's just big, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's basically what they are, but um, but we had a great time with y'all tonight. So much fun. Um, y'all, please, I know um, Twyla is looking for salt and pepper shakers, and Twyla, I will, I actually got some in that I had ordered, but I left them upstairs in my office. I didn't bring them down. So I will have those for you and anybody else who might be interested next week. They're nice vintage um, salt and pepper shakers. And one set of them is that cobalt blue. They are beautiful. But um, I will bring those down from my office and have those for next week. And I'm still looking for holiday um, themed salt and pepper shakers. I know you're looking for those Twyla and a banana purse. Um, so if there's anything that I can look for y'all um, to show up, um, then y'all let me know. Everybody has my number. Y'all can text or call me anytime. It doesn't matter. And let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Um, you know, I will... Always do my best to try to find it for you. Thank y'all so much for all your support and all the purchases you made. It really means a lot to me and Jerry. And we thank y'all coming week after week. Y'all come and y'all support us. And, and we just can't thank you enough for that. And I hope that all of you have a wonderful week. And, um, huh? I hope y'all have a wonderful week, and we will, um, yes, I will. I have that holding for you, Sanford, so I will, um, put that purse, uh, to tie along with the purse. I'll put that in there with it, so, um, and I won't change the, the shipping price at all, because that won't make no difference, so, picked a good week for that, so that, that works out great. Um, but I will, um, do my best to keep my eyes open for all the things. I have a list of items that y'all told me that you're looking for, and I'll continue to look for those things for y'all and, um, do my best to bring y'all great deals week after week. And, um, thank y'all again for coming. I really appreciate it. And, um, I hope all of y'all have a great week. Thank you so much. Thank you, Twala. That's sweet. Everybody, thank you so much. I hope y'all have a great week, and we will see y'all next week. Thank y'all so much. Good night. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Sanford.